This video is called Don't Stroke the Selection, Stroke the Path and I'm going to tell you why. First of all I'm going to open a new image and make a round selection and I will stroke this selection and when I do this with a uh, line width of 6 pixels and foreground color of black this will be the result. I'm going to go to select none so you can see and even if you look at it at 100% you can see that it's thinner here and thinner here and thicker here and when you zoom in to 200% you can see that it's it's not very nice around the edges it just doesn't look nice and far from professional so I'm gonna clear this as soon as the selection is gone clear this and go back to 100% and make another circle selection and this time I'm gonna make a path from this selection by going to select to path and I now want to stroke the path but before I do this I need to deselect the selection because otherwise I can only stroke inside the selection and I want to stroke the path so uh, you need to go to select none and then nothing will show but there is a path here and you can check that by going to your path dialog here and you can see that there is a selection you can even make it visible by clicking on the eye here I can make it invisible again because I don't need to see it for what I'm doing right now and then go back to your layers dialog otherwise it won't work and now I'm going to go to edit stroke path and again I'm going to stroke it with six, six pixels and a foreground color of black and just hit stroke and as you can see now it looks all nice this rounded line and even when you zoom in to 200% it still looks nice nothing uh, you saw when you were stroking the selection so if you are stroking a selection that has curves or is anything but straight lines then please make your selection into a path and select none and then stroke your path and it will look so much better uh, that was it for now um, if you like my videos please subscribe and um, Thank you for watching.